How many kills can you get in one game of zombies? Currently, the most I've gotten in one deployment is 2,644. I think we can do better than that. All right, so here are the rules that I'm setting for myself. I can play the entire game all the way to final exfil, but I have to get all my kills here in Urzikstan. I cannot use any of the other exfils going to any of the story missions. And my weapon of choice here today is a WSP Swarm with this build. And I decided to go with this weapon because after it's Pack-A-Punch, we get 400 bullets for each weapon, and I can constantly shoot one while reloading another. So I'm always getting kills. And I also brought in all this stuff here. So let me go ahead and use this, use all my perks. And I'm going into this with kind of like a half strategy. I brought in the Scorcher here so that I can move around a little bit faster. But I only had like a few options for getting a lot of kills at a time. One is doing an exfil, which is definitely good for getting kills. But that time in between each exfil, that little cooldown you have to wait for, I feel like is wasted time. So I want to try to get to somewhere like an Outlast and get that done until a tier two exfil shows up or until I can find a tier two outlast because it doesn't look like any are spawning right now because it's definitely going to be easier and faster to kill zombies here in tier one but I feel like you'll get way more zombies spawning in tier two and the reason why I wanted to try this is because I was looking through my stats and saw that my highest was only 2600 and I felt like I can do way more than that and I'm pretty sure I got those kills in a game where I was just going for camos. So if I actually put some elbow grease into it, I think I can pump those numbers up. Especially since we have this contract in an invested stronghold. I think if we just don't destroy all the spores and leave a few, zombies will continuously spawn. And I also want to try this before the season two reloaded update comes out and we get the mags of holding schematic. Because with that, you'll be able to just continuously shoot a weapon and it'll only take ammo from your stock. Kind of like Ring of Fire did in Cold War. And I wanted to see what I could get to without that schematic being an option now i don't know currently what the world record is i've seen people say that they've gotten up to like 9,000 kills in a game which i don't know if that's true or not it's all just you know people saying what they got you know just taking them by their word but if i were to set a goal for myself i want to get to 10,000. i don't even know if that's possible because we only have what a whole hour here 45 minutes before the storm moves and then once the storm moves you get 15 minutes so i guess we'll see and if we develop some sort of better strategy along the way, then we might be able to refine it and actually do better. Now, I don't know if I'm dumb coming in here with the swarms. Actually, I do. I am definitely dumb. And there's some like obvious other weapon choice I could be using to make this better. Like I was thinking of using maybe the haymaker with slugs since the reload on it is pretty fast and it's actually decent now. But I couldn't think of any other weapon that would work better than the swarms for this especially since I'm coming into it with them legendary. So I feel like it can do well in just about any tier, taking around any zombie, any elite. The only one issue I have with coming into this is that I did not have a tier three pack a punch. My crystal is still on cooldown, but I think pack two can do just enough for us, especially if we're just starting out here in tier one and we decide to move to tier two later on. Now, what would be the dream scenario for this is if we can find an outlast that is close to an exfil. Because if we can just get the infinite spawns from the outlast and pair it with an exfil, we will be swimming in zombie kills. And with how this game works and how there's not a scoreboard showing how many kills you have throughout the game, we're going to be in all in anticipation waiting for that final screen to pop up to show us how many we got. I think if I were to improve on this strategy already, like I already brought in my golden armor plate, so I don't have to waste any time throwing on more armor if I'm in any danger. But I could also bring in a hellhound bone and spawn it in and have that get some kills while like I'm in a menu or something, you know, looking to see if there's any better contracts or... You know, I'm getting ready to fly somewhere or reloading or what. Same with using like an ammo mod like Brain Rod or Shatter Blast. I might be able to get some kills a bit faster, but those are just small tweaks that I might get, I don't know, like a, a handful of kills more than I would here. I thought these were the most important perks to bring in. The Scorcher was very important if I had to move around at all because there's no guarantee for us to have a car anywhere unless we do like a cargo contract. But this is my first time trying to go for like a very high kill game. So I guess we'll see what this uh, turns out to be. Well, like I mentioned before with the Mags of Holding coming out, I wonder what weapon is just going to like become the meta. Because off the top of my head, I can't really think of any weapons that have a problem with needing to reload a lot. I know there are some out there. But I'm drawing a blank. Like, there's got to be some weapon that just gets absolutely overpowered, just taking away the need to reload. Especially with the amount these zombies drop ammo here. It's like you almost have infinite ammo and you can just shoot continuously. Like, will an LMG become meta? Because those already do some pretty decent damage, like the Tack Eradicator. 
But those mags are already so large, you're barely having to reload anyways. But that is always the biggest downside of an LMG is having to reload. Or maybe the Haymaker will be even better. Like it got its aftermarket part with 60 rounds in it, 120 when pack a punch, but the Haymaker aftermarket part kind of sucks. I don't even know if it works how it's supposed to. It's supposed to have that binary trigger where it shoots two shots every time you pull it, but I don't think it does it. And the slug rounds just do more damage anyways. So maybe that'll just make slug round Haymaker the new weapon to use or maybe like the grenade launcher could be crazy without having to reload it at all just constantly firing grenades but i wonder if the mags of holding only works on one specific weapon or if it's just something you activate at the beginning of the game and any weapon you pick up works i'm really trying to keep a you know a glass half full mentality on it where it'll work just on whatever weapon you use but i would not be surprised if you have to just pick a weapon and throw it on there like you would an aether tool i feel like we're getting a decent amount of kills here we're getting constant zombies about like 20 at a time before they respawn but i want to go try out another tier but i'm also scared that moving is going to be wasting time and i also don't know if these nukes count for kills and now just sitting here i'm thinking of even more ways to optimize this like if i were to play a game beforehand set up a tombstone and have like a bunch of turret circuits in there i could just go sit in tier three start a contract there maybe an outlast in tier three but that is also very rng dependent whether or not the Outlast spawns with a deadbolt turret right near it. But if it does, that could be the run. So I'll sit here and do this contract until I've killed enough zombies to earn ourselves 15k. That way we'll have the option to go get Pack-A-Punch 3 if we need it. But we do got enough, so let's try to end this contract. We'll go see if we got anything better over in Tier 2 land. I'm struggling to find this last spore. At least we can still get kills while we're doing this. Is it hiding behind this? What a weak spot. Let's see if we can't find a turret circuit in here. Come on. There we go. That's one. That's two, actually, in another self-revive. Super useful. What about in here? Another one. Perfect. All right, what contracts do we got? We have a tier two outlast all the way over here, but that's a terrible spot. Yeah, let's just go to this x fill till we can make up our mind. This is like the only outlast I've seen spawn in tier two since season two has started. I think that's their way of nerfing them without actually nerfing them. So let's see how much more zombies we can get from an x fill because if we get so much more spawning at once here compared to our outlast contract, then maybe it's worth it to grind it even with that little cooldown. But we do get manglers and disciples now. And the disciples will make all these other zombies stronger and harder to kill. On top of them already being tanky as it is. But they also can spawn in zombies of their own. So maybe it's worth it. I definitely think if I want to stay in tier 2 though, I should go get pack 3. It'll make getting these kills so much faster. Because pack 2 is working. But we could be working even better. And I'm getting way less ammo spawns over here. Tier 1's definitely better for that. Okay, we just cleared that axe fill. Besides one mangler out of here uh where's pack a punch three at oh right over here this is perfect we'll go there is there an outlast contract in tier three there's not but there is a deadbolt turret over there so if that outlast contract ever respawns we can throw our turret circuits in there and get to work so give me that you got any zombies over here no it looks like they cleared it out okay we'll, we'll just keep checking periodically to see if that outlast is here and maybe in between x fills over here i can go and grab these contracts and cancel them and see if we can get an outlast to spawn on this side of the map. If you guys can think of any strats within the rules I said at the beginning of the video, let me know, because I'd be down to try them again. So I want to see how many I can get before mags are holding and after. So I feel like we can start to rack up some pretty high kill games. But I know final X fill is going to be juicy for kills. There's always so many zombies that spawn. It's overwhelming. So where's the storm at this game? All the way over here. So that means final X fill is going to be in this area. Maybe we can do that final tier two outlast closer to the end of the game while we wait for final exfil Ooh, and what's this brain rot give me that we can have a brain rot zombie go get us get some kills for us do our dirty work okay our exfil just left all zombies have been slain now let's go cancel some contracts i would really like to do this spore contract but they nerfed it into the ground it has limited zombies now so get rid of that we'll get rid of this one anything spawn in nope well, I guess so much for that plan. Maybe I have to get rid of every contract in this area. Give me the cargo delivery and get it out of here. Nothing has spawned, dude. Lame. You know what? I'm making my way over there. Maybe I can start this up and use this X fill too. Let's see if we can combine them. I really hope this contract is worth it. Let's start it up. And I kind of want to test how far away I can go from this Outlast contract with zombies still spawning and chasing me. Because that X is a little bit farther than I thought. We just need to find where these zombies are spawning at because it's seeming like... <laughs> semen. But it's, it seems like it's kind of inconsistent. They're just spawning from like down the stairs. And then when I go down the stairs, they spawn from up here. 
They're avoiding me. But either way, I need to get out of this before I accidentally end the contract. All right, well, we'll see how this works. I'm going to make my way over this exfil and see if these guys follow. I don't think they're following. I'm still going to start this, though. And then I can go up here. I think I'm trying too hard to optimize this. I'm overthinking it. But I can throw a turret circuit in this. Let it take out these zombies. And then I go back to the end of the tunnel. And maybe I'll just kill all the zombies that spawn at this exfil. Because I'm still getting kills over here. And now I'm back near the PND. And we're getting our spawns. So maybe I'm cooking. Or maybe I'm dumb. You may never know. I'm thinking maybe if I had another player, they might be able to run down, activate the exfil, and run back. But I'm overcomplicating things. And I always hear people talking about the get it to 90% and then cancel it, and then you'll still get infinite spawns. But I don't know if now is the time to test that. Because we got a good thing going right here. I don't want to throw it away. If I had to give out a prediction, I'll say realistic prediction, maybe about 4,000 for this game. Optimistic prediction? 6,000. Wait a second. Is this a stronghold too? Oh, this is a sweet spot. I guess just all of a sudden became a stronghold. This is not a stronghold 20 seconds ago. That's crazy. I've never been in an area while one spawned. I need to take these cysts out though. I do not have a gas mask and I cannot breathe in here. Oh, there it is. We cleared it. This has actually been so satisfying. Just slaying hordes of zombies the entire game. And here comes our storm. We're at the 15 minute warning. We really just need a feast on that final exfil. Oh no, there's a team converging on me. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Actually, I think more people at final exfil means more zombies. So I guess you guys can come. Just leave my outlast alone. Don't be taking my spawns. Oh, I think they're already all over it. Cocksucker, dude. Leave me be. Don't you know I'm doing a very specific self-imposed challenge? The audacity of these people. They left. I scared them off. Okay, we're getting close to only five minutes left. Where's the storm? It's getting kind of close. So I'm going to try to get this contract up to 90% and cancel it. We'll try out the method. Because we're going to have to leave this area anyways. We might as well see if it works. I wish I could see how much ammo I've shot this entire game. Like if it gave me the stat. Because I have not stopped shooting basically since the game started. Oh, and I accidentally finished the contract. Shit. Well, so much for testing that. Oh, well. Storm's just about here anyways. We got to go set up where final X is going to be. I probably could have stayed at that outlast just a little bit longer. Because there's barely any zombies zombies here right now. Well, that's because they're all right here. Actually got here at the perfect time. It's got to get crazier than this. There's barely any. I was really hoping for a game where everyone just left once the storm started moving. You know what I should have done? I should have came in here with golden enigma on this so I could start working towards the weapon mastery. We would have easily cleaned it. Man, these guys are just clearing the zombies. I thought we'd have way more to go after. We're in the final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one over time also get these kills before the helicopter takes off and we're out of ammo let's see how many we got i'm gonna be so disappointed if it's less than what we had before so why it is less 2,805? I guess that was a little bit more. I don't know numbers. That is very disappointing. And it didn't even update our highest kill game. I guess it does say allow one to two minutes for your most recent match stats to process. Jeez. It's one to two minutes for me to process the words on the screen. Oh, now it updated. That's more like a game. That last game, that was just a warm up. I was just getting a feel for it. Now that I got a strat, we're going to break 3k this game guaranteed because I'm just going to stay at one outlast the entire game. Maybe because I'm fresh out of any better pack of punch crystals than pack one, but maybe all that moving around took away some potential kills from us. So let's see how many we can get staying in the same spot the entire game. The only thing I changed up this time around is I actually brought in a dog bone. So I'll be using that. And since I don't have any more golden armor plates, I switched to frenzy guard. That way I can restore my armor if need be. And it'll attract the zombies to me. I swear the game knows what I'm trying to do because it's not spawning zombies in the same spot. I'll go to where they're spawning at and then it just changes. But I'm trying to fight the urge to go to another outlast. So just add time and take away from our kills. Oh, and I accidentally finished it. So I guess we have no choice. Where's another outlast? Please be one in tier one. Did I just screw myself? I might have. Shit. I'll go to an exfil until I see one spawn. That was an astronomical fumble. Another outlast hasn't even spawned. I just need to leave this game and restart. <sighs> Lame. Last game was also a warm up. This is the one that counts for sure. And we have an outlast right here. Perfect. The only downside to this run besides me not having my dog and not having my scorcher is that we don't got speed cola. I think we'll still be all right because Storm's on the complete opposite side of the map. So final exfil more than likely be close to us. So we can stay here the whole game as long as I don't accidentally end it again. So let's give it a try. This is so rhythmic. It's like almost putting me to sleep. And here comes the storm. Final 15 minutes. If I don't have over 3,000 kills this game, I'm gonna be sick. 
It's just giving me Vanguard PTSD of almost falling asleep sitting here playing. But I'm fighting my demons and the storm is almost here. Is the final expo going to be a military base? Because if it's not, we need to start moving. Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Only three minutes left and I'm going to make this count. I'm going to start slowly inching my way over there. I feel like my mouse is going to be in pain after this game. I'm going to need to ice it up. I've been clicking down the entire game. And here comes the storm. We got to go. Our Outlast is now stuck over there. Oof. Damn, it feels so quiet after just shooting for so long. It's almost tranquil. And I think I'm the last person left in this whole game. So we'll get the entire final x fill to ourselves. We're now approaching the final minute. This is absolutely absurd. And I am scared that we did not get over 3,000 somehow. Lily did nothing but sit at that Outlast for the last hour. And we are out of here. Just after I get a little bit more kills. Throw the Aether Blade. Did it get anybody? Nope. Okay. Please be a good amount of kills. We made 60,000 only killing zombies. No contracts completed. 4,282 kills. That's 85,000 XP. 94,000 total. I know what I'm doing next time they drop an XP event. I am sitting in an outlast and not moving. Whew. We blew our previous record out of the water. I really thought 10,000 was possible. I don't know if it is. Now, record still isn't updated. Let's give it a second. Oh, there it is. 4,285 kills. And I don't think any weapon is overtaking our swarm anytime soon. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.